Oh, it's super early in the morning. But just another day in paradise. Morning, people of the grid. It's Wednesday, January the 11th. I'd lost my car to the YMCA, and today it was returned. Pretty cool. Hey guys, just dropped off Ethan and Amelia at school and uh, heading to the home office to start my day. You know, mentioned that I found my YMCA card. It's so funny. I don't even know when I lost it. It's a few weeks ago. I've just started this week kind of returning to my regular workout schedule and I was holding off for a couple of reasons. I thought, well, if I need a new card, then I got to get a new picture and I wanted to have a haircut so that, you know, I look good for my picture. Anyway. I was coming up with a lot of good excuses not to go and uh, so I went uh, yesterday no card and I uh, didn't want to take the picture on my way in so I thought well I'll do it today and I went to get it today and she looks around and there's my card somebody had found it and turned it in I gotta tell you you know that's I feel amazing I know today is gonna be awesome because somebody did something good for me that benefited me I don't even know them and it's just turned my whole day into a positive thing. That that little tiny act of kindness has uh, made my day. And it's it's scientifically proven that if you put people in, in, in front of other people in a large group and you have somebody help somebody else, they get endorphins. They get endorphins from, you know, brain rush of chemicals that makes you feel good. They get endorphins that make them feel good just from helping somebody else. And those that see that, the others that observe that, they also get a secondary hit of endorphins. Not as strong as the person actually doing the, the act, the good, uh, the good thing, but they get pretty close to that. That's pretty amazing. That is literally changing the world for the better by doing something that you, know, you might even think is inconsequential. Um, so it saved me a bunch of time. I don't have to get a new card. And uh, yeah, made my day tomorrow see what you can do to change the world it doesn't have to be big it really doesn't every little thing adds up that's pretty cool oh hey people of the grid i thought i would take a break it's uh one o'clock i'm gonna grab a quick lunch here at ido sushi oh yeah and you know what I brought Tammy. Told you this was going to be a good day. So while we were on our way here, Tammy was uh, on her iPhone. She's friends with Mark Wahlberg, or she follows, she's in a Mark Wahlberg fans group on Facebook. Mark Wahlberg just gave away a thousand tickets to his latest movie, Patriot's Day. That's the one about the, uh, the incident in Boston, I think. So looking forward to seeing it. We're going on Friday. Thanks, Mark Wahlberg. We heart you, man. You're the best. This day just keeps getting better and better. Oh yeah. My date. My date for lunch is here. Oh, and uh, I know at least one of the people of the grid is a vegan. Maybe a few more. <laughs> I'm having the vegetable udon soup. It's awesome. Really? Yeah. yeah, it is. Love it. You don't even know me. I know you like the udon you don't soup. Even, you don't even know me. Know I love the like udon soup. That's a wrap for today. Hey guys, we going snowboarding? Yes. Yeah. All right, we got Amelia getting ready. Yeah, boots on, everybody boots on and snow pants on. And if you get hot, you can take your jacket off in the car or we'll just roll down all the windows. So Amelia's wearing my boots. Or you're staying home? Well, and her boots don't fit her, so... Amelia! What? Your boots don't fit you, so you need new boots now? Yeah. Guys, you're not supposed to keep getting bigger. Hey, this is getting expensive. Ethan, your boots are about the size of mine. I don't know. 
Yeah, they're pretty close. Well, yeah. All right, so we've got, uh, I put the Thule box on the car when Tammy and I came home from lunch. We just got to put some more boards in it and make sure we got all our bits and pieces and I think we're set. All right, guys, we are rolling. You know, when Tammy and I uh, went out for lunch earlier, actually, when I dropped the kids off this morning, the temperature outside was about minus 23. Friends of ours. It was... <laughs> All right, roll up the window. Hi. Hi. Roll up the window. Yeah, we're going to drive back. That's our friend Jennifer. So we're just going to pull in behind her. We'll follow her safely. This morning, we woke up to minus 23 degrees Celsius. Really, really cold. It wasn't looking good. At lunch, when Tammy and I went out, it was uh, minus 16. Balmy. So Tammy and I chatted and we thought, today's the day. We're going snowboarding. So uh, right now, it's minus 10. Perfect snowboarding weather. It's going to be awesome. Yep. You guys got ready in record time. We got Ethan, Amelia, Melissa. I didn't have to get dressed. I was Amelia, already Samantha's over there. Yeah. yeah, so uh, we got the Thule box loaded up on the Model S. This is the magic box that we use to transport six snowboards. We've got six sets of boots. We're wearing them. We got six helmets, all of our winter gear. This is now a snowboarding vehicle. Dad. So we're going to get in a couple hours tonight. First snowboarding of the season. Woo! You guys excited? Yeah. Yep. Wow, let's try that again. You guys excited? Yeah! <laughs> that's gonna Are blow. you sure you wanted to try that again? No, that's gonna yeah. blow the sound meter. Helmets go in the front, Thule boxes on top, behind that building is our, right up there, that's our ski hill, Canada Olympic Park. There we are, it's already night time, but we're on the hill. There goes Samantha and Amelia and Ethan and we baby Lissa. Hey Lissa! How's the foot? Good. There's me and Melissa. Holy crap. As soon as the sun went down, the temperature dropped. It's probably minus 18, minus 19. I'll grab it in a second. How was your first run, sweetie? Good. Yeah? You can barely see my face. Are you warm? Yeah. You my did, feet, are, my toes are a little You did awesome. Back. Nobody wiped out. First run of the I, year. I kind of wiped out. I got a little snow. Did you? Oh, wow. Whoa, that was amazing. Hey, guys? Cold. Yeah. Yeah? Cold? Yeah. We did a bunch of runs. We figured we'd come inside and warm up. Best night ever, eh? How you doing, Sammy Pepper? Uh, my feet are frozen. Your feet are frozen? Yeah. The rest of you warm though? I can't. This is not funny. So every thing on the side is like... And then you would say... Hey guys, we are going to call it a day. It's 10.15 p.m. and I am super, super tired. That uh, time tonight on the hill tired me out. 
tired the kids out too. I think everybody's gonna sleep really, really well. We came home to a really nice stew, which was awesome. Thanks, Tammy. And um, we've got some interesting things coming up. There's a um, acquaintance that we know out of uh, British Columbia. He's gonna be taking a Tesla challenge, driving a Tesla all the way up to the Northwest Territories. So uh, that's gonna be coming up in a few days. So we're just going through the planning exercise right now as to uh, what that trip is going to look like. Um, we'll be following along virtually and um, my buddy James will be executing the trip. So I'm pretty excited. Other than that, uh, I'm going to wrap up the video and get some sleep. Tomorrow is going to come really, really quick. Hope you guys had a really good day. Um, you got to come here and try out some of the skiing and the snowboarding. It is incredible. Miker out.